Have you ever wondered what would happen if all humans suddenly disappeared from Earth? Imagine our bustling cities, vast farmlands and technology-driven societies all left abandoned. Today, we'll explore the fascinating if somewhat unsettling possibilities that could unfold if we as a species were to vanish from this planet. Our human footprint is deeply imprinted on Earth, from the highest mountain peaks to the deepest ocean trenches. We've left our mark on every corner of the globe, forever altering landscapes, climates and ecosystems. We are living in what scientists call the Anthropocene, a geological age where human activity is the most significant influence on our planet's climate and environment. But what if all that were to stop? What if the human influence on Earth was abruptly halted? How would our planet react? How would the world we've shaped and molded continue on without us? Let's dive into this intriguing, albeit chilling, hypothetical scenario. In the first few hours following the disappearance of humans the world would enter a period of eerie silence. Imagine, if you will, the sounds were so accustomed to suddenly gone. The hum of traffic, the buzz of conversation, the clanging of machinery, all of it, silenced in an instant. This sudden quietude would have a profound impact on our planet's wildlife. Birds, accustomed to the cacophony of human life, would find their songs echoing in uncluttered air. Creatures of the night like bats and owls might venture forth earlier, unimpeded by the glare of streetlights or the rumble of late-night traffic. In the oceans, marine life would experience a sudden drop in noise pollution, leading to less stress and potentially healthier populations. Meanwhile, all human-made processes would grind to a halt. Planes would glide to their final resting places, cars would sputter to a stop, and factories would fall silent. The ceaseless churn of human industry from transportation to manufacturing would cease almost immediately. All around the world, the wheels of progress would stop turning. One of the most immediate and noticeable changes would be the sudden and total power outage. Without humans to maintain and operate them, power plants would shut down. Nuclear power stations would enter safe shutdown procedures, while coal-fired plants would simply run out of fuel. Renewable energy sources like wind and solar, though more resilient, would eventually fail, without human upkeep. The result? A world plunged into darkness. Streetlights would flicker and die, houses would fall into shadow, and cities would become ghostly silhouettes against the night sky. The stars, free from light pollution, would shine brighter than most of us have ever seen. As the lights go out, a strange new world begins to emerge. A world without humans where nature reclaims its dominion and silence reigns supreme. It's a chilling thought but also a fascinating one. So, let's continue our journey into this hypothetical future, and explore what might happen in the days and weeks that follow. As days turn into weeks the Earth starts reclaiming its territory. Imagine if you will, the once bustling city streets now silent, save for the rustling of leaves and the occasional call of a bird. The concrete jungle, once a testament to human ingenuity, gradually becomes a playground for Mother Nature. The first signs of this takeover would be the overgrowth. Plants, no longer held in check by the constant human intervention, would start to spread wildly. Grass would push through cracks in the pavement, vines would creep up walls, and trees would sprout from the roofs of buildings. The city would gradually transform into a verdant untamed jungle. But it's not just the vegetation that would flourish. Without the hustle and bustle of human activity, wildlife would venture deeper into the urban areas. Deer, foxes, raccoons, they would all become common sights in the city. Birds would build nests in the windows of abandoned skyscrapers and packs of dogs would roam the empty streets. Even marine life would reclaim its space. Rivers once polluted by human waste would slowly start to clear, and fish would return to the waters. Ships and submarines now ghostly relics of a bygone era would become artificial reefs, teeming with life. Meanwhile our buildings, once proud symbols of civilization would start to crumble without regular maintenance. Skyscrapers would decay, bridges would collapse and houses would cave in. Nature would slowly erase the traces of human existence reducing our concrete and steel structures to ruins. In the absence of people the earth would undergo a process of rewilding, a return to a state of wilderness. The world as we know it would be replaced by a world ruled by nature, where the only sounds are the rustling of leaves, the chirping of birds, and the gentle lapping of waves. Weeks without humans paints a picture of a world returned to the wild. Years into a humanless existence, the Earth undergoes significant transformations. The repercussions of our absence are vast, and they seep into every crevice of the planet. The first to go is pollution. 
without factories belching out smoke, cars burning gasoline and planes jetting across the sky, the air clears remarkably. The sapphire skies return, unmarred by the haze of our industry. The rivers, once choked with waste, run clear. The plastic islands in the oceans begin to break down slowly but surely. The earth breathes a sigh of relief as the climate begins its recovery. Nature, in its resilience, begins to reclaim its lost territories. Wildlife flourishes. Devoid of human interference, animals multiply and diversify, predators return to their old hunting grounds and the balance of ecosystems is restored. The world becomes a symphony of life, a harmony of existence that had been long disrupted. Domesticated animals too find their place in this wild new world. Dogs form packs, cats become solitary hunters and livestock return to their wild roots. It's a survival of the fittest, a return to the natural order. The marks we left on the earth, our cities, monuments and infrastructure, they don't stand the test of time. Without maintenance, buildings crumble, bridges collapse and roads are swallowed by vegetation. The Eiffel Tower rusts and falls, the Great Wall of China is overtaken by the wilderness and the Statue of Liberty sinks into the sea. Our architectural marvels, symbols of human perseverance and ingenuity, are reduced to ruins, to relics of a forgotten past. Nature takes back its due, erasing the scars we carved into its surface. Forests grow where there were once streets, rivers flow where there were canals, and mountains rise where there were mines. The earth heals, reshapes, and renews itself, all without us. Decades on, and the earth is almost unrecognizable, it's a world returned to its primal state, a testament to the power of nature and the fleeting impact of human existence. Centuries and millennia pass, and the earth evolves into a world that has almost forgotten humans. The relentless march of time, coupled with the ceaseless natural forces of weathering and erosion, would have chipped away at all human artifacts. Concrete jungles would transform into actual jungles, skyscrapers would crumble, and the Great Wall of China would be nothing more than a faint line, barely discernible in the encroaching wilderness. The Earth's biosphere would have undergone radical changes, the absence of human interference would have triggered an explosion of biodiversity. Nature would have reclaimed the earth, with new species evolving and old ones going extinct. The lion, the tiger, the wolf, the predators we've pushed to the brink of extinction could very well reclaim their thrones. In the oceans, the absence of overfishing and pollution might allow for an unexpected resurgence of marine life. The coral reefs currently on the brink of extinction might bloom once again teeming with life and color. The waters would run clear and the skies would be free of smog and pollution. The Earth's climate might also shift dramatically. Without human-induced global warming the planet might gradually cool down, ice caps would expand, and the Earth might very well return to an ice age. This would not be out of the ordinary. Our planet has seen at least five major ice ages in its 4.6 billion year history. The cities we built, the cultures we created, the languages we spoke, all would be lost to time. But the Earth would continue spinning, indifferent to the absence of its most intelligent yet most destructive species. The human era in the grand scheme of Earth's history was a mere blink of an eye. We came, we saw, we conquered, and then, we were gone. The Earth would reclaim its dominion, and life in its myriad forms would continue to evolve, adapt, and flourish. In the grand scheme of Earth's history the human era was but a brief moment. This thought experiment, while fascinating, serves as a powerful reminder. We've journeyed through time, witnessing the transformations that might unfold if all humans were to disappear. The immediate aftermath, the ripple effects through days and weeks, the changes over years and decades, and the profound shifts over centuries and millennia. Our presence, our actions, our choices, they all leave a lasting imprint on this planet. From the fall of our concrete jungles to the resurgence of nature, it's clear that the Earth possesses an incredible capacity for recovery, given the chance. Yet, it's essential to remember that our disappearance isn't the only way for the Earth to heal. We can make choices today that will contribute to the health and sustainability of our planet. Let's reflect on our responsibility towards the Earth. While we might not be here forever the choices we make now will shape the Earth long after we're gone.